Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I thought that it'd be fun to do a little something different. I my current journal that I'm writing in every morning for my morning mindset pages is a moleskin. Yes, it is covered with stickers. Lately, I have been obsessed with doing, I feel like I say obsessed so many times in my videos. Okay, I'm gonna scoot closer. Um, I have been loving doing sticker collages. I don't use stickers a whole lot like in my planning, but I do love using them in my art journal. Um, I've actually got, I'm trying to see if my art journal's here. It is not, I think I showed one in my last video, but I stickered the cover of my moleskin notebook. I just love the sticker collages. I don't know, it just like catches my eyes and I love, I don't think a whole lot when I do them, I just place them down. But then later I see all these little tidbits here and there. And so this one, most of these stickers came from a book that I actually got on Amazon. And then I do have Breeze. One of Documented Journey Bree's, um, her pelican here, I love him so much. So he is kind of like where your eye goes, which I love. Anyways, we're not here to talk about stickers. We're here to talk about moleskin paper because I have not, it's been a while since I've been in a moleskin, but I got this moleskin for my birthday in July and I will be finishing it this month. And then I'm gonna have to pick a new journal, which is exciting, but also kind of bittersweet. Anytime I finish, um, a journal, but I've got about this much left, but I wanted to talk about the paper because I love Tomoe River paper that's in the Hobonichi, but every time I use a moleskin, I remember just, I am a highly sensitive person, so feeling things are big to me, but this paper is so buttery, like, I just, I love it. It's so buttery, just the feeling of it. I also have used the Moleskin um, sketchbooks and art journals, and those still have that same, like, just buttery, soft feeling. And a lot of people struggle with Moleskin paper because, like, I don't, again, my Moleskin is mainly for writing, so it's it's all words. So I don't do a whole lot of, I don't do any art. I don't do any watercolor in here. This is for writing. So I wanted to talk about my favorite pens to use in the Moleskin journal. Again, based on my last video, anytime anybody shares their favorites, I, I just love to reiterate the things that I'm okay with because if you're not okay with some ghosting, some of these may not work for you, but I don't like bleed through. I don't mind ghosting. So let me show you. I do have a pen test. I have a testing page. And so just to give you an example, you can tell there are words that is ghosting. I don't mind ghosting. I actually like it, it doesn't bother me if it bled through, as soon as there's a mark on the other page, or if when I look at my words, if I can't read them because the ghosting is too strong on the other side, I don't like that. But all of these pens that I'm going to mention, don't none of them bleed through. So you can be sure of that. Most of them don't even, I mean, you have a little ghosting because, you know, you can see a little shadow, but that doesn't bother me. So keep that in mind as I share my, how many do I have? I have five favorite pens with the buttery, amazing moleskin notebook. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to move to next after this, because I know that some of you guys might be interested. I kind of think I'm going to go, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to say it. So we'll see. Um, I will keep you guys posted on the next journal pick that I decide to go with for fall. All right. So my top five juicy because with buttery paper, I love juicy pens. I don't know why I just do. Two of these I will mention are the one I don't use them as often as I use the others simply because maybe I'll start with those simply because when I'm writing and again 
everything in here is words. When I'm writing, I don't want to be interrupted. I want my pen to flow and because as soon as something starts getting scratchy or um, skipping or I, I can't because in the morning my brain is just, I just need to open, I just need to open my journal and just blech, like just vomit out the words basically. And then I end with clarity and I, I think I've talked about my morning mindset pages before. Um, maybe I'll talk more if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, I don't want, I'm li like, if I'm in, if I have a thought that I'm exploring, I don't need anything to interrupt. I need it just to flow. So these pens are based on flow and inky juiciness with the moleskin paper. Okay. So the first two are kind of iffy because sometimes, sometimes they do interrupt me but I still wanted to mention them here because I do love them so much. One of them I um, mentioned in my back to school haul, I actually purchased these um, Bic Gelosity pens. These are 0 0.5 and again, if I had these, the 0 0.5, I think this was the fine tip. Maybe if I had gotten the bold, it wouldn't skip and it would flow because it'd be thicker and more juicy. But Leanne from Creatively Free To Be Me was the one who turned me on to these and they are amazing. Let me just tell you, I stole like half of my sons because I love them so much. They are very juicy. And I didn't think, like, I guess in my mind, I thought that they were gonna be more ballpoint pen because when I think of Bic, that's just what I think. And they're not, they are much more, they are a gel pen. And they are, I love them. I love them. So I do have the 0 0.5. I love that it's juicy, but it is very fine. So I do get that scratchy feeling. It doesn't skip, like the ink doesn't skip, but it does have that little bit of scratch, which sometimes, sometimes I enjoy because the next pen that's on that iffy list is a fountain pen. I love fountain pens in moleskins. Test, I will say test the ink have a testing page in the back because some ink does bleed through. Um, I have a navy blue from Noodlers and it does bleed through, so I can't use it. It kind of like feathers out, so I can't use that in here. But the Lexington Gray, which is one of my favorites, I have it in my Twisby, which is my favorite um, fountain pen that is not like a vintage, vintage fountain pen, so they're in two different categories. Um, the Twisby, if you're interested in fountain pens, this is a great starter fountain pen and you fill it with the inks. I love these. I started with the Lamy Safaris, but I find that this doesn't skip. My Lamy's sometimes, do I have one here? My Lamy's will sometimes skip, but this again, I like it to flow. So both of these flow great. They just both have that scratchy feeling. So if I, if I'm not Usually in the mornings, I don't want any kind of scratchiness. I want it to just like be juicy on the buttery paper and flow. Um, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's I don't know. The, I think it's because these are fine. Because this one, this one is also a fine nib. So the scratchiness probably comes from that. I'm sure it does. But I love these two pens on the moleskin paper. The Lexington Gray is beautiful on the buttery paper. And if you guys are interested in trying a cheap pen, you can get these at the dollar store. If you guys have a dollar store, you can get these at the dollar store. Okay, now my top three, my top three pens that I'm gonna mention, um, you guys know that I adore the Pentel Energel. This is actually the metal barrel and I get refills for it, actually a lot of times because I'm using up my own stash. I will pull out like I love how this feels in my hand. So I will pull out, I've got some here, like this is a purple. I will take the ink out of this, put it in this, use it up, put it back in here, and it goes in my empties stash because there will be an empties haul at the end of the year. So stay tuned. Um, but yeah, the Pentel Energel, these are the same, it's the same exact pen, this is just a metal barrel. And whenever I use up my stash, I'm planning on buying just the refills. And so then you don't waste the entire, pen body. 
So I love 0 0.7 for my moleskin journaling and they are some of the juiciest, most beautiful flowing pens. I've talked about them a million times. There's a ton of them that are usually in my empties that I've done in the past. The Pentel Energel, for sure. This would probably be my number one for the moleskin paper. Um, number two, well, I don't know. These come close. Both of these would probably be fighting for number one. It's hard because I'm currently using this. In order to use up items and shop my own stash, I will pick one pen and I use that one pen for my journaling until it's empty. And then I pick another pen. Same with washi. And I know some people can't necessarily do that because they love to have all the different things. But usually I have two or three washi in my pen case. I'll have two or three that I am currently using. And then when I use up one, it goes into empties and I pick another one out. And so that's kind of, that's just how I work. So number one pen would be the Pentel Energel. Yeah, let's just say number one. It has my heart. One of my favorite, favorite gel pens. Second would be the Uniball Vision Elite. This, I, lo I love this. I love this so much. Um, I don't even know where I got it because I am shopping my stash and this came out of um, my pen box and it's actually almost empty and I don't have any others in there. But because I'm not buying new pens, I'm like, I have to use what I have. But this, I was so surprised at how much I loved it on the moleskin paper. So yeah, this one's also a Uniball. And so I might have to try out more of their stuff. I do like that it's got a cap. I wonder if that is part of the reason that it, I don't know, I don't know, I'm rambling now. So Uniball Vision Elite and Uniball Air. This is the Air Micro. This one, I haven't seen at any stores. So this one's a lot harder to find. This, I believe I ordered on Amazon. It came up as like a, if you like this, then you might like this. I think it was when I was buying a bunch of Energel pens a couple years ago. And I was like, oh, that, that pen looks cool. And it was said to write from all directions and it does. So look at this. So you can, you can write from any direction. Like some of these, you know, you have to hold a certain way. Um, but this one, I mean, if you're, if you, no matter how you write it, like it picks up from all directions and it's dark and it's juicy and amazing. So this is the air, the Uniball air. This is the Uniball vision elite top three, top three pens for moleskin buttery paper. If you like juicy flowing options, um, I'm trying to think all three of these. Let me check my testing page real quick. Um, originally Pentel. So these do give ghosting. You will have a little bit of ghosting, but nothing that you can't like read the other words on the other side. I mean, as I showed you, most of the pens that I had tested out are these, um, and other, there's a couple other ones in here, but top three and then Fine tip, these are also juicy, but these will have more of that scratchy. Sometimes I love hearing the scratch. Like, you know, that, that pen on paper, especially with the fountain pen, you know, just hearing each letter be, it, it makes you feel like Jane Austen. So there you have it. Let me know what, let me know if you guys are a fan of the buttery paper. And if so, if you have a favorite pen that you like to write with on it, um, again, I was a little bit worried about going back into a moleskin because I used to be obsessed with them. And then I became much more of a composition notebook girl. And so I was a little bit worried about going back, but I do love it. There's just something special about a moleskin. So let me know your thoughts. And yeah, next week we'll be in a new journal. And I have no idea right now which one I'm gonna pick, but stay tuned for that because I will be doing a video. Um, maybe I'll take you guys with me to like the dollar store or something and get a journal. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what, what inspiration strikes. Okay, talk to you guys later.